two female inmates are pregnant after they had sex with another inmate at the Edna Mahan Correctional Facility for Women in Clinton. That's the Department of Corrections. Last year, Edna Mahan began housing transgender inmates who identify as female. Two women are pregnant in a New Jersey prison by a trans woman. Let me, let me break this down. This guy right here, this is his before, this is before and after. He's serving a life sentence in prison. He decided to identify himself as a woman. So they gave him a free pass to serve his sentence in a women's prison. Not only that, y'all, not only that, in the same prison, there's about 27 biological men who identify themselves as women. A settled agreement with the American Civil Liberties Union of New Jersey last year declared the state's prison system must house transgender prisoners in line with their gender identity. This means all a man have to do is identify himself as a woman to be housed in a women's facility. The woman he impregnated in prison is serving a life sentence. Transgender prisoner Demetrius Minor, 27 years old, has admitted she got two women inmates pregnant. Catch it. She got two women inmates pregnant. She is referring to the guy here. Now you would think she would refer to the woman on the screen, but no, no, no. They so smart. They are so smart and prideful. So nobody thought the man in him would be attracted to women in prison. There's a case right now where a woman was sexually assaulted by a transgender woman in prison. In other words, a man identifying himself as a woman. Denying the distinction between a male and a female has led to biological men who identify themselves as women to compete in sports against women, to use women bathrooms, to be placed in women's prison. It also impacting schools all across the spectrum is being sabotaged by this ideology that there is no distinction between a man and a woman. This is the world, y'all, without God.